Alrighty, so I have to be at work in just a couple of hours. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to make chicken and rice or hood gumbo as I like to call it. Um, I just got my ingredients lined up here. Some extra virgin olive oil. The lemon and lime is really for garnish. I got some veggies, peppers, onions, garlic, uh, a little bit of ginger. I like to put a little bit of ginger in mine. You don't have to, but it's just good for like me. <laughs> and carrots. My cilantro, my poor cilantro is about to die. But um, that's really for garnish too. And I use any kind of chicken that I have for my chicken and rice. Right now I've got chicken tenderloins and my long grain rice. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna chop my veggies up and chop my chicken up, and I'll be back. My here are my um, chopped up veggies. I got the peppers, um, carrots, onions. The ginger is grated. I have not chopped up my garlic yet. I tend to like to wait to add the garlic until like after I've added the meat. I don't like for my garlic to always be sautéed with the rest of my veggies. And I don't know if I mentioned the grated ginger. I got my chicken uh, tenderloins already cleaned and chopped up. I like to make them into tiny bite-sized pieces. Let me see if I can show you like how, like little bites. I just use my regular kitchen shears or scissors um, to kind of chunk them up like one piece at a time, like kind of bites. And my seasonings, I always tend to go kind of simple when I make chicken and rice, uh, the seasoning is because you gotta add like a lot to it because you're gonna add a lot of water. So I just like to use sea salt, um, black pepper, and maybe a Goya pack. Or if you've got some seasoning salt, uh, you could use that. I don't have any lawyer lorries. I've got like some off-brand seasoning salt. I don't really too much care for it. So I'm about to saute my veggies and then add my chicken. And then, well, you'll see that part. Right. <clears throat> Hot pan olive oil coat the bottom of your pan because you're also going to use the same oil to uh kind of toast your rice too so let the oil get like a little bit hotter than that and then just add your veggies i'm gonna get real hot so it starts see how it kind of starts waving you see those little waves that means the the oil is getting hot Hot, so then just add your veggies. A nice sizzle. Then we're going to add that. Let the onions get nice and like translucent. How does that work? The fingers in there, like I said, I have not added the garlic yet. I don't really like to saute garlic. I don't know why. It just kind of me changes the taste of it, and I like to be able to taste it. I want to come back to show you my chicken seasoned up. That Goya um, pack adds like a real nice color to it. Usually I add like a touch of soy sauce or a touch of red wine vinegar or rice wine vinegar when I'm making my chicken and rice. I don't have either of those right now, so uh, that's why I'm not adding it today. I'm just letting y'all know. Too. Growing up, my mom did not add really ginger to our hood gumbo. Like, you know, this is a staple in our community. Because you always have chicken, you always have rice, you always have onions and carrots and sometimes bell peppers. But, so, if you can grow up eating chicken and rice or hood gumbo, do you really even have a childhood? But, like I said, my mom did not typically add ginger to hers when she made this. I like to add ginger. I actually like to add any types of herbs vegetables, anything that I have, or anything I can get my hands on, just because I love them. So, this looks good. This is about as hard as I'm going to let it saute. I'm about to add my fried chicken in there. Um, I like to cook my chicken, um, not all the way at this point, but get a nice good saute on it. Make it look like it's mostly cooked, and then I'm going to add the rice and toast that up in that nice oil and all that flavor and then add the water or chicken broth. Sometimes you can add even chicken broth, but for me, water in the chicken sauce so kind of makes its own chicken broth. So I just always add water. And then of course you're gonna free season and add some more seasoning. So let this cook for a few minutes and I'm gonna add my garlic and then my rice. And then my water to show you guys that I added the garlic. See how big I leave my garlic, kind of chunky. 
I like to be eating stuff and come across a big chunk of garlic. Right. So we have the chicken cooking and then I add the garlic. Now I'm about to add my rice and then my water. Alright, so now it's cooking. It's toasting and all those juices from that chicken and the veggies and that olive oil. Just make sure, this ensures that it gets like a really good flavor to it. And I also want to come back and say, like you can literally add whatever you want to to your hood gumbo. Because all this is chicken and rice. I've added like mushrooms to mine. I've added like some sweet tomatoes. Or I've added kale, spinach, broccoli. Like I literally add whatever I got. I ain't got none of that today, so this is what I'm going to add because this is what I got. And I'm going to let this cook for a few more minutes and add some cold water. There's no real set amount of water to add either. My mom just always kind of taught me to kind of cover whatever you're cooking with water. Um, because you can always add water. Don't make it too much because then of course it alters the flavor and the seasonings that you add. So just kind of a basic rule for me is when making this or any kind of soup really or stew or whatever the hell you want to call this is just kind of cover like in the pan just kind of cover whatever it is you have with the water just so and I always use cold water when making rice I just feel like it cooks better some tomatoes some stewed tomatoes really would be good with this I'm wondering if I got a can of stewed tomatoes but that really would be good something about those peppers make me think about tomatoes and so let this cover it and let it cook well bring it to a boil then let it uh, bring it down some, like bring your heat down. The heat is still kind of on high now, but I bring it to a boil, then turn it down and then cover it and let it cook till the rice is done. And taste as you go, kind of, once you're sure that chicken is done, taste it as you go because you will have to re-season it, mostly because you just added a whole lot of water. So make sure you taste it before it's all done and you serve it because you might have to re-season it. kind of come back and show you guys. My camera's fogging up, but the rice is going to be cooked through in just a few more minutes. It's soaked up most of that water. There it goes, kind of see clearly. I leave my vegetables kind of chunky, as you can see, for a reason. I think it looks a lot prettier that way. So yeah, I just wanna come back and show you guys the almost done is the finished product. And like I said, um, as soon as you know for sure that your chicken is done, you should be taste testing it to make sure that once it's done, your seasonings will be on point. And this is delicious. Um, I like to garnish mine with a little bit of hot sauce. A little bit of that fresh cilantro I chopped up. And I like to add lime to mine. My kids like, I got my whole arm in there. My kids like lemon, so I'm doing lemon and a little bit of lime today and delicious it's all good